Probably really crash. Yeah, I'm building a really tall car right now. So, Whoa. hello and welcome to okay. <laughs> <laughs> episode two of the USG show. We need a better name. But, I mean, because you keep it simple. USG show. If you have any ideas for the name, drop them below. We'll uh, see if we can call it something. But uh, yeah, so episode two. We're trying to be consistent here. Um, and just give you some updates on what's going on with the gym, what's going on with the business, plans for the future. Um, there's, there's the crash. Uh, if we hopefully we'll get some guests on the show. We actually have a guest. Of it's the next episode, the two episodes we'll have um, a guest, and I'll, I'll leave more details below. But Andrew Stone. Yes. Um, Coach uh, did some strength and conditioning with the Panthers. He's now he's continuing his uh, career. Um, elsewhere. And she flashed a photo of you and him crying. Yes. <laughs> so I know I have a lot of people who are like interested in learning about um, how to get into like strength and conditioning and getting on at, to schools and uh, the path that right path you're supposed to take and everything. So we're gonna have him on the show talk. It. We are gonna go. We were both on the cheerleading team at Virginia Tech together. Not so me. do some me history. Andrew. Me and Andrew do some history there. Um, and you guys can ask some questions if you have any questions about. Getting into that world, um, well, cheerleading, but mainly um, the world of like sports me or sports training and um, personal training for like bigger, especially conditioning programs, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, it should be a fun episode. So drop your questions for that as well. Um, anyway, for for this, it's just us. Okay, so I guess Sebastian can be our guest, but yeah. um, our biggest update That's is so that <laughs> I am full time here at the gym. Woo! So. Yeah, it's kind of scary, kind of exciting. Actually, I actually feel really good about it. How do you feel about it? Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> no, it's good. We were waiting a little longer for before we like made that full jump, but um, kind of got a few more things kind of squared away. But uh, for various reasons, we were um, kind of forced into this position, but <laughs> yeah, a little sooner than we expected. But I feel really good about it. Honestly, I'm super super excited. It was awesome to wake up, especially like Monday morning. Um, just not having a boss, except Margaret. <laughs> um, <laughs> on paper. <laughs> on paper, Margaret's the boss. So, you know, not having to answer to anyone else for that, that was really cool. <laughs> kind of having my own schedule and, and um, you know, now that we can really focus 100% on the gym, I'm just really excited to try to blow it up here. Um, so and, cool. uh, we're gonna have another crash here in a second. Um, <laughs> but, to, there it is. Oh. So, yeah, to really have 100% effort, uh, <laughs> oh, Sebastian. This is our guest, Sebastian. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> I'm trying to pull a, a flailing <laughs> four-year-old. Uh. Um, so yeah, so we're uh, really excited to give 100% effort now into the gym, not have my attention be divided between like two jobs, and and just it was really stressful. It was a lot of juggling back and forth and everything. So um, we have less income now. It's zero to be honest, <laughs> to be to be technical, but uh, I'm excited to really put 100% effort into marketing and like social media training. efforts, personal training, online training. Um, so we have a lot of things that we're going to be doing. We have some upgrades that we were talking about last time for the gym that I'm really going to be able to go hard on here uh, with like putting the flooring down and getting the, the walls down and um, setting up equipment and all that kind of stuff. So I think we'll see some really good efforts. Good effort, um, good effort. Good effort. <laughs> But um, yeah, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, do you have any any concerns? Uh, <laughs> many. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm on the way, on the oh, what am I saying? It's too early. We're on a good uptick. Uptrend. Uptrend. Up uptick. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen enough. I think you've seen uh, an uptake. We're on an uptrend. Yeah. Um, and with our various. It's not even pregnancy brain. Gosh. All right. Yes. Yeah, so various sources of revenue, streams of revenue, then we'll really be able to at least be okay for a little bit. Yeah. Well, we're definitely like one of my biggest worries was like starting going to the gym. It was like as we started getting more busy, is like what if we can't physically fit enough members here to like cover all our costs? <laughs> and that was something obviously you kind of in hindsight should think about better in the beginning, but. Um, now that we're at a point where we're actually covering all of our costs through the various streams of revenue between apparel and food and obviously membership sales for the most part and then some extra training that I'm doing, 
we're covering all our costs and then some at the at this point per like for the month yeah, so like just six months in it's pretty solid yeah so i'm super happy and proud of that that we're not you know that we're at a point where we're feeling comfortable if this whole deal happened three months ago yeah i would be be a little scared I'm <laughs> terrified <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm terrified if this if uh didn't have a full time hey, job hey, hey, and hey, this hey, hey. no it's gonna fall Bastion. don't do that please crawling under the camera now um, so yeah, if this happened a few months ago, I'd be really, really scared, really nervous about everything. But the fact that we are now covering costs and even starting to break into the, uh, into the black here a little bit and not just like bleeding money every month, I'm feeling much more confident. And like I said, now yeah. with like effort, you know, focused efforts and everything, we're going to be good. Um, one of the scary things we were talking about was like health insurance. Um, yeah. And like, obviously we've been living at my parents' house for extremely low rent. Um, but we're about to start renting an apartment. So we had that cost. We obviously got dropped immediately from insurance So we we're looking for that and that was scary too and and we have we've been pretty smart with our money So that was obviously it's necessary in the business world, but like in our personal lives too So we've really set ourselves up to be able to do this and to we some good survive savings, savings and actually bank. like be okay not just like yeah. you know eat the can of beans well and this is where kind of like that emergency fund kind of comes we have like our money's mostly in cash which is probably not the best way to in, in investment wise but at the same time at, in the bank account we have money saved up that we can live for a while on that savings and now that we're starting to kind of break even and start making that profit should yeah. be able to get be and my good. photography business too. That's right, Margaret's we have very beast sources. photographer if you don't know. So check out her page, Margaret Strada Photo. Oh, that's my Instagram. Handle. Instagram handle. Yeah, she's she's awesome. Um, another another business that uh, she's been involved Keeping with. Businesses. And, yeah, it's, businesswoman, <laughs> entrepreneur, serial entrepreneur, Margaret right here, Margot. Um, so yeah, so um, yeah, the the health insurance we just got squared away. Actually, though, uh -huh. we had a friend. Uh, thank you, Katie. Just uh, reached out to us over uh, Instagram. I was like, "Hey, Saul, um, you're having, you know, some issues with the health insurance. Trying to get on a good plan and everything. I work in enrollment with with uh, one of these Christian health shares that we were looking at actually, and uh, ended up being really good, uh, pretty low cost, low deductible, and actually ended up being better than what I had at work." <laughs> I ended up being better than what I had at work. Um, one of the hard things is that since it's not a traditional insurance plan, it didn't cover uh, pre-existing conditions like pre well, pregnancy was considered a pre-existing condition. Um, so it wasn't going to cover that, which was obviously very expensive and very scary. So like, oh, we wrote that off. She, she was able to get us in as an exception. Um, and so that's going to be covered. And like I said, low deductible, not too yeah. much of a monthly premium, better than I was paying at my work. So that was a super big blessing there. We're really uh, thankful for that, that that kind of lined up. Yeah. Um, and other than that, we're going to have pretty low costs elsewhere. I'm not, I'm literally right down the street. Yeah, so we're not, we're not like any no gas. gas. Like, makes sense, really. Uh, we'll just have the. <laughs> we, I can, we stick to pretty tight. <laughs> budgets as far as food goes. We don't, don't eat out like eat ever. Out um, we don't, our, our grocery bills in general are pretty low, pretty low cost. Um, so we just try to save, save money where we can and not overspend. Oh. Be next to mommy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, everyone can see you. Uh, um, and so yeah, so we're feeling pretty good about it. And I think one of the, so like I do want to talk about one of the biggest things that really set this that we wouldn't be able to do this at all and really kind of set this whole thing up oh was the fact that we got rid of our house, um, which was... <laughs> so anyway, I think the biggest thing that really set, that made this all possible and really set us up to be able to make this move was the fact that we got rid of our house. Um, it was a very hard decision and a very difficult like month or two, especially Margaret like worked her butt That's off <laughs> to get... <laughs> <laughs> Margot worked her butt off to make that happen, especially because while I was at work and at the gym and she was at home packing up <laughs> and so she I mean, she made it really possible but like it, it was hard emotionally for sure just because like obviously it was our house we were very attached and you know it's like a lot of stuff that we had to get rid of and so it was a very good lesson in like Detached. detachment yeah for sure. Um, but it's kind of one of those things where like you do have to make those sacrifices and like to figure out what's important and it's like if we had a house right now, if we had a mortgage and everything, we wouldn't be able to just not have an income. And <laughs> yeah. So it's just like that was, you know, that's a, a scary part of 
excuse me, that's the scary part of things, and it was a difficult decision, but like, sometimes you gotta, you gotta prioritize and figure out what's important. It's like, this is a sac short term sacrifice, um, but the long term, it's gotta be, you know, something, for, you know, hopefully we'll reap benefits from yeah. and, and, and get a lot more out of it than, you know, um, like I said, those, in those first few months, there's so much stress and frustration and like the slow growth and everything and people and stop memberships slowing down, that kind of thing. Like a lot of difficulties in the beginning. Things are like ramping up now too. It's like a lot of stuff that you don't see behind the scenes that have to happen to really make it all possible. So um, yeah, I was always thank you for all your support with all that because like if this wasn't as successful, we didn't have the community and we didn't have the support we did. So, I'll be much more difficult. Um, than it is. Please stop it now, okay? No more. He's ugly. This <laughs> challenge. <laughs> I will cut that as well. Um, yeah. So thank you for everything as always, and just like think about you know if there's like sometimes you have to make that difficult decision, those difficult sacrifices, and like um, cutting something from your life or whatever in order that you can kind of take a step back in order to make two steps forward. You know, it's like it was also like hurt my pride for sure to like sell our house that my family was living in and have to go back to our you know fam our parents and like say can we live with you just to save money and it's like you know we loved hosting we love like having parties and all that kind of stuff and we'll get there again but just like you know those sacrifices are required and can take kind of test your pride and um, make you know humble you a little bit but yeah I'm like now I don't even think about it it's like oh. yeah. Whatever, we have a house, but like, I don't even know. It doesn't even cross my mind now. Right. No, for sure. I don't think about it too much. Although, it'd be awesome to have our, our own space again. We'll be, um, we'll be get our apartment here at the end of the month, so it's gonna be awesome. We're super grateful um, for our, our families, for all the support, especially your parents for hosting, hosting us. <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah, my parents have been so so great with support as well. We're very blessed to have the, the great community of support and family and everything and, and friends. So, thank you all. But anyway, we're gonna yeah. keep this one short. That was probably not that short. <laughs> pretty short, relatively short. All right. But uh, and we'll have we'll get like some guests on. Hopefully, I don't know if it's next episode or the episode after. We'll see when they air. But um, yeah, definitely drop questions below so we can start doing more Q and A and stuff. We'll take questions from like the previous episode and get them on the next episode and start kind of getting those running. It should be good and uh, adding some segments to the shows and have some fun with that. So anyway, we will talk to you guys later. Have a great week. Ciao. ciao. Peace. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs>